Hey everyone, Hi. happy Mother's Day from my family to yours. I'm Sonata, I have two daughters. And I'm Diana. Leila, who do you want to be when you grow up? Like mommy and Diana. Aww. What's mommy's favorite extensions? Bellamy. 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 <laughs> Today we are going to talk a little bit about us. We both work for Bellamy. I'm the ambassador and we are going to answer some questions. Okay, so what's the most memorable moments that we share together as hairstylists? Well, we have plenty of those, you yeah. know that. But our most special one was when I was nominated for Bellamy, the best stylist, and I think that was our mm -hmm. best moment, right? Yeah, in Vegas, that was really fun. That I was think in it was Vegas, the best actually, moment. I forgot to mention that. And that was she amazing. was so nervous. She was like, I don't think I'm gonna win. Like, she was like, and then once she won, she was, it was the cutest thing. When I won, I went to go to the table. I'm like, I'm so shy, I don't know what to say. But we did it. So how does working together in the studio strengthen our bond? Oh, goodness. We, we love each other sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we no. hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do love working with Diana. And I get so proud when I see her succeeding and doing all these beautiful looks that I, I teach know, we her. We hype each other. Like, yes. we're like, no, you could do it. Like, you know, we, yeah, we, we inspire each other. We do, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, we give each other that power. They're yeah. like, okay, like mother daughter thing. I'm like, you can do it. You have it all. I want you to be even better than me. I Literally. made it like I worked really hard, but I'm like, you can do much better. Go on, you know? I know. So we really push each other so much. And as a young girl, I think like she's doing really good. I'm so proud of her. But she always, she constantly pushes me. Okay, so what values or beliefs do you both hold that influence your approach to hairstyling? I believe that brides and clients deserve that intimate luxury experience because it's the most important day of their lives. And they're trusting us. You want to give them that 100%. Yeah, so we're we so honored to be part of their day. How do you support and inspire each other to pursue creativity and innovation in your work? So we always try to follow the trend and but we always try to go with what's a classic look. So a lot of looks that were in style 10 years ago, which were tighter curls, and now it's more of like a looser curl. Have there been any challenges we face together that have ultimately strengthened our relationship? So I've been watching you since I was little, and I was always inspired by my mom to be be just like you, pretty I much, because she, she my biggest strives for perfection. Yeah, I and I felt like there were high expectations from me, and I feel like I started doing hair really young, and there were times where I wasn't confident with my work, or I felt like I could always be better. My mom was always there to support me. Yeah, I was always behind her, actually, it's true. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I used to go around and be like, mom, you're making me nervous. She felt she was so young when she started hair. She was always nervous, like I'm yeah. gonna say something and people are going to kind of judge her, like, oh, she doesn't know how to do hair, you know? Yeah, because I would be like second guessing myself and uh, I didn't want the client to feel that I was nervous. Yeah, but I was and, there to teach her yeah. that I was thinking I'm um, doing something good, but she was nervous on the other yeah. side. So we had those things and mm -hmm. those days, but that's past. And look, look at you now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you are rocking. <laughs> How do you individual styles and personalities complement each other? Okay, our looks are pretty much the same. So mm -hmm. I, Diana and me do a similar looks. Because it's funny, like brides will come in and they're like, yeah. I want this look and they'll find it for my mom's page or sometimes even my looks, which I feel like very special. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like I get so excited when the bride comes in and they're like, okay, this is a look what I want. She's like, like a proud mom. We hype each other up. But yeah. also these looks are very uh, popular right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of stylists are using these looks. What helps these looks? Bellamy extensions. Bellamy extensions. We I think 99.9% yeah. .9 of our brides use Bellamy extensions. It doesn't even matter if they have so much hair. Like yeah. we always tell them like to achieve the look that you want for your wedding, that you're going to see these pictures for the rest of your life, you have to get Bellamy extensions. Yeah, because it's the only way the hair will last. For natural hair like me right now. So the hair will get like messy and like all over yeah. pretty much. But when you have these extensions, you sculpt the hair. I don't even call them curls anymore. Yeah, sculpt it. 
uh, looks. So yeah. I tell all my brides, you if you want these kind of looks, you have to get, get the Bellamy extensions. extensions. The other way, you cannot create that no. look. Can you recall a moment where you felt proud of each other's achievements? My classes were like my biggest achievements. I saw like stylists from all over the world, from from England, from South America, from Canada, from France, from India, from Australia. I had people in my class and I was like, wow, I didn't think, I was like, wow, all these people are in my class. That was like, I couldn't explain the, the, the excitement feeling, yeah. and feeling. That's my biggest achievement and having the most beautiful family. I also started doing master classes, which was a proud moment for my mom. It was an amazing class. I'm following her footsteps. How has the dynamic between us evolved since we started working together? I was pretty much like a first freelancer and uh, people used to go to the salons before. So now a lot of clients, brides, wanted to get ready at their home because they were more comfortable being around their family the camera, so they didn't want to drive the day of the wedding. So I had no other choice but taking Diana with me. Yeah, and I was always watching her. I think I was like five years old. She was like five, yeah. six years old. Poor child, I used to drag her <laughs> everywhere with me. So what advice would you give other family members considering going into family business together? The best advice is to stay um, really strong together. Mm -hmm. and always uh, protect and support each other no matter what situation is so we are there for each other but one thing I do have to say which I love about you like we don't bring it home you know like our home is our home and we try to spend as much quality time together we don't we try not to talk about work too much because we're always working and we barely have time to see each other mm -hmm. Another time we would enjoy together is when we travel together for weddings, mm -hmm. destination wedding, the time that we went to Sicily. We would wake up in the morning, we'd go for breakfast, for a nice walk, we would make some nice videos, me yeah. and her. Mm -hmm. Then by the afternoon we would have to go to the bride, do our hair. So that's the time that I enjoy. Like I work, mm -hmm. that's like my passion, I love it. But I also have, I'm we having had, time with my daughter, yeah. with my family. Okay, so what message or legacy do you hope to leave behind through your work together as mother and daughter hairstylist? Me as a mom, as a hairstylist, I feel like we have to give an example to the other stylists out there, non-sleeping nights, working so hard, never being home, never making it into the any um, event, like family event. I miss all the family events. So I just wanted to tell you guys, just don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing and it will pay off hard work mm -hmm. to all the hairstylists out there i want to give them a message never stop learning you always have to stay with a trend make sure to do new looks always come up with new ideas i am so happy that we had this opportunity me and diana to have this talk and to be part of bellamy thank you bellamy for having us and for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you ladies. Hope you have the best day. Welcome to our studio. So this is our studio. This is where we do all the trials, private classes, all our reels, models, and we have studio downstairs for Diana, where we do colors, haircuts, blowouts, treatments, everything. Yeah. A lot of our clients and brides want that luxury, full, voluminous look, so we always recommend Bellamy Extensions. I love this brand and I stay true to this company, and I don't let anyone leave without getting Bellamy Extensions. This is the tester how amazing this hair is and you can get color matched in the store or you can order online but you always want to make sure that it matches your hair color from roots to ends when you buy bellamy extensions they come super silky we have to wash them and dry them just because we have to wash all that silk coat out so you have to use bellamy shampoo and conditioner Bellamy shampoo is sulfate-free, it's a luxurious lather, and it gives the hair a shine. And Bellamy conditioner hydrates, 
detangles and nourishes the hair. This shampoo and conditioner, you can use it for all the extensions, clip-ins, tape-ins, K-tips, mm -hmm. and what else? All of them. Yeah. Bye, Bellamy. See, See you, you next time. time.